You're watching Lone Star Conference Men's Basketball Media Day with Midwestern State Coach Justin Leslie. Justin, entering your, your second year, it's a quite different year than any. Uh, the preparation has to be different due to COVID. What are the biggest challenges to operating in an environment like this? Well, frankly, the biggest challenge has just been the missed days. Um, you know, we'll, we've, we've had to, you know, like, like most of my colleagues that I speak with, you know, various instances of, you know, exposures, being in isolation, some positive tests, um, you know, and as a result, it's just led to a lot of time where you're at less than your your full team, you know, in, in your preparations. And so, um, you know, that's that's presented opportunities for, um, you know, different different looks at rotations, different looks at um, just just practice reps for a lot of guys that may otherwise uh, may not have had that opportunity. And so, you know, you hope in the long term that that pays, you know, some positive dividends. But um, but at the same time, it's it's presented a, a unique challenge that uh, you know we're having to work our way through. And having to work your way through a, a lot of adversity last year. But this is a team that closed the season, winning four of the last five games to make the Lone Star Conference tournament a big accomplishment. How big was that for the program? Well, I, I think to finish the the season on a high note was something that uh, th that was much needed. Uh, we we had a lot that we put in last year that was new, mainly off the court, just in terms of of who we are as a program. What is our identity going to look like? Uh, you know, in the classroom, in our daily interactions with everything that we do, and uh, as as a result, over the course of the season, I think it it all started to add up in a positive direction. So to see some of that uh, manifest itself in success on the court was, uh, you know, it, something that really propelled us into a, what I feel is a very productive offseason despite the COVID limitations. You look at this team, it's a, it's a good mix of returners and transfers and freshmen. We'll, we'll start with the seven returners, in particular the two starters. Trey Jones is your leading returning scorer, the junior guard from right here in Wichita Falls, Hershey High School, averaged almost nine points per game, 39% from three, and hit 68 triples last year. Yeah, well... You know, we, we need Trey and, and, and Jalen, those two returners, to, to be productive for us. Uh, they've already been very productive in terms of their, their leadership and their work ethic that they've brought into to this offseason and into the fall. Uh, you know, Trey is a guy who, who's worked very hard. He enjoys being in the gym and, and developing his game. He's someone that we're going to look to to shoot the ball a lot this year. We need him to, to be a consistent factor from us from the three-point line. Um, uh, you know he's he's worked hard on developing other aspects of his game, but at the end of the day, we need Trey Jones to shoot threes and make a lot of threes for us this year. You mentioned the other returning starter, Jalen Brown, six seven junior from Denton, Texas, averages averaged eight points, and nearly six rebounds per game. Uh, big active body. Uh, mm -hmm. he, how has he um, progressed through the season and into the season? Yeah, well, the the thing with Jalen is that you know he was still very inexperienced in in terms of his kind of exposure to to some greater nuance in the game and um, over the course of, of his time he's really been able to pick up uh, you know those those nuances and subtleties of the game very well and and so I, I look to him as someone who you know is going to develop as kind of one of our, our leaders on the floor in terms of getting players uh, you know on the same page um, you know he's 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 a positive energy guy when he was going in you know in the in the right direction you know he really takes others up with him and so we just need to continue developing that because uh, you know he's probably not ever going to be the the leading scorer but he's someone that makes those plays happen for others his versatility in the front court is something that this year with our uh, you know the the pieces that we've added I think suit his game a lot better to where we're going to have a more spread and spaced floor which is going to allow him to be able to um, you know make some more decisions for us in the middle of the floor whether he's facing up or with his back to the basket so uh, I'm, I'm excited for Jalen you know he's he's worked hard um, he's he, he's he's done everything that we've asked of him and so uh, I'm just really looking forward to him coming out and having a, a much more productive season for the Mustangs. What defines success for, for MSU basketball this season? Well, I, I think for us, um, 
We had to work really hard last year to just change our perception of ourselves, uh, the standards that we want to hold ourselves to, how we want to compete, you know, what the, the uncommon characteristics of winners we need to exhibit on a daily basis in order to have the level of success that we want. And so for us, you know, we've talked a lot about that, you know, the type of contagious positive energy that we need on a daily basis uh, to go out and compete well. And, we, we've been seeing the, the, you know, that just continue to creep through, but we need to go out and see how that plays out against some of our opponents. Uh, we need to get into game situations and, you know, and just show ourselves that it's not just something that we talked about, it's something that we're going to do uh, consistently now when we get into those game situations. And so uh, I have every reason to believe that if we do that, we have the talent in place uh, to be successful in the Lone Star Conference. Uh, you know, the schedule this year presents some unique challenges in terms of playing back-to-back -back games against uh, conference foes. Um, I think our style of play is going to be, um, you know, such that we're going to be able to, to do that, um, you know, on both ends of the floor, make the necessary adjustments. Um, but more than anything, I think success is going to be just playing our style of basketball and imposing our will um, um, on our opponents as opposed to letting them dictate the terms of the game. We need to be the aggressors in every game that we go into um, and we need to go out there and control the tempo at which the game is played and I think that we can do that uh, you know it's going to be a successful year for us. Good luck coach. Thank you very much. You're watching the Lone Star Conference Men's Basketball Media Day with Midwestern State coach Justin Leslie.